It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Castles Brewery in Chepstow in the United Kingdom in Wales. Uh, it's a bottle of the King's Reserve Premium Bitter. Again, by the Castles Brewery. It's 4.3% ABV and it's been described with a, a deep, rich amber appearance, a particularly smoky ale and a distinct scent and exaggerated hints of berry. Sounds good. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. So there's the gold bottle cap. Whoa. Wow, that was a real blower. Look at the smoke on that opening. Beer in the glass then. This is a real carbonated number. Quite a lively beer. The beers are bot bottled conditioned. So I'm going to leave half of the bottle in the bottle to show you later on to show you all the yeast that's in bottle conditioned beer in case you're new to beer um, this one's heavily carbonated lots of carbonation rolling up the glass it's a four finger tan colored head um, the beer's been sat in my kitchen for 24 hours the brewer kindly came to my house with these beers yesterday um, they've been cold or cool on the back wall um, my kitchen's like a an underground dungeon so it's kind of the same temperature all year round it's about eight degrees here so um, the perfect temperature and the perfect conditions for beer so this four finger head would probably have happened it's just probably the batch that we have here. Let's get the aroma. Oh. Oh, blimey. Um. Lots of, um, it's quite farty. If I'm perfectly honest with you, it's quite a farty beer, it's quite, I, I, probably call it sulfur if I was being a little bit more professional like a sulfury aroma wow let's dive in cheers actually I'm kind of fearing the worst there drinking that, but it's not that bad, it's okay. In fact, it's more than okay, it's a very nice beer. It's always, I, I suppose your senses are there for a reason. Your senses are there, if you're gonna, gonna smell that fattiness in the beer you're going to be very cautious in drinking it but getting past that it's very nice it's crisp it's refreshing it's nice and carbonated so it's pushing the beer around the inside of the mouth it is a little bit smoky is the Brewery described. But it's just a very lovely, crisp, clean. It's a bit of a palate cleaner. If you've had something maybe beforehand, something like a smoked porter or something, or, or you've just eaten a meal, you want to clean your palate, then this would do the trick. This would kind of, it's a bit like eating Jacob's crackers when you're, when you're reviewing beer. A nice premium bitter. To be honest, I'm wondering, I'm, um, comment on this, I'm just wondering what caused that kind of sulfury, farty smell when, when I poured the beer. Was it something to do with that great big head? Was it kind of just held in the head there, the, that quite unpleasant aroma? But it does seem to have, it has dissipated quite a lot now. It's not that bad. It's, it's, it's actually, I say not that bad. 
apart from probably the appearance of the beard, it started off quite being quite a difficult review. The appearance is not great. The aroma wasn't great. I was fearing the worst. I tasted it and it was a totally decent beer. Totally decent beer. Decent beer. So I'm going to rate it. So I'm going to take a mark off for appearance because the beer, you know, with all that head, you know, it's a bit of a struggle to, 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 the, with the appearance of the beer. Um, I'm going to knock another mark off or two marks off, in fact, for the aroma. The aroma was actually, you know, some people probably wouldn't have tried the beer. It was quite a strong aroma. But apart from that, I can't take anything away from the beer. It's a premium best bitter. It's a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. And put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.